How's it going guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you guys so much for all of the subscribes, the likes, and the continuous support. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get a notification every time that I upload my content. Today we're going to talk about my very first listing. Now I was blessed to have represented three buyers before I acquired this listing and I'm very excited to continue to help my clients. So on my very first listing, I acquired this listing through a Facebook ad. I pay for my own ads, you know, well, make sure you guys watch my video, get your money, because in that video I detail on how you can get a lot of your commission so you don't have to pay all, all of these splits for your commissions, but you do have to reinvest in yourself. So make sure you guys check out that video, how to choose your broker because you got to reinvest. So I pay for Facebook ads and that's how I found this client and got my very first listing. Now I'm very thankful on this listing. I didn't have to do any competition. She just called and said, Hey, I need some help. And there was no other agents that she was considering or wanting to work with or even thinking about. She saw my ad and she chose me and that was great because I came, I showed what I could do. I gave her my listing presentation, how we can sell the property, the, t the, the type of market that we're dealing with. And we got the job done. My seller came to me with two properties that she needs to get rid of. The first property was a livable property. That property was recently fixed up. Brand new flooring. Now the house was an older house, smaller, but it was fixed up. It was into, um, she did put money into better conditions of the home and that set us off beautifully. After we listed the two homes, obviously the home that was livable got traction right away. We had seven offers. Now we had a lot of showings as always. Um, and then we had seven offers that came through. And in the midst of me marketing this property, I was blessed to obtain the buyer. My buyer gave me a call and said, hey, I like this property. I'm not working with any agents. I would like for you to write up my offer for this property, which is what, I'm, what I was listing. Now, if you guys are, are blessed to obtain the buyer and the seller, make sure you're holding up your fiduciary duty and make sure that you are protecting each side. Yes, you can do that. Yes, there is a way because people say, oh, no, it's a conflict of interest. Whatever people want to say, it is possible because now even after closing, I have a good relationship with my seller and I have a good relationship with my buyer. I made sure everybody was on in full communication and that we were handling everything correctly. So on my very first listing, got it on the market. We received seven offers. My offer with my buyer was strong. Now what you can do is what I did was I advised my seller, Hey, I do have a buyer. Now, are you okay if we get an offer that's the highest offer above my buyer? Is it okay if I tell him what we would need to be stronger? And I got that okay from my seller. So I was able to say, Hey, I know your offer is at 205, but this offer just came in at 215. Would you like to go higher? And that's kind of the, the plug that we got, uh, that the plug he got with working with me. I was able to say, Hey, they go, they go, these offers getting a little higher. Do you, you know, do you want to, so it's crazy because I almost lost him. We got an offer for 230,000 and the list pri uh, the listing was 195,000. Now we understand this market. I was blessed to have my first buyer. Uh, we closed at 25,000 over asking price. So I knew what we had to do in order to, uh, I knew what we had to do to handle someone that came in that high because they still have to meet the appraisal. With my first buyer, we were blessed to still have enough capital to where we paid the difference of the appraisal. So, I, uh, you know, like I said, the house wasn't the best, um, the outside of the house wasn't in the best condition, but the inside was definitely fixed up. So what ended up happening is we had to negotiate. 
I let my buyer know, hey, this is what they're coming with. They took off, they took off inspections. Can you take off inspections? And we work together in no BS. I presented the offers. Of course, I let my seller know what, you know, which offer was the client that I was representing, but I let her know in full due diligence, these are our strong offers, these are our weak offers, these are our decent offers, and these are our over asking offers, and this is what, you know, thankfully, my seller, she said, I don't want to go with 230, I know that's too high. I don't want to go with 215, I know that's too high. But 205, 205 sounds just right. My seller wasn't greedy. My seller wasn't planning on getting any form of payment. This is what this was for her father. And she wanted to make sure that she got a serious buyer that can take care of it, uh, that could take care of this property. Not a, just a, you know, a first time home buyer. This is a, a property that had a bunch of a, a small square footage on the home, but we had about 13,000 square feet on the lot. It's a lot of work. You know, it wasn't someone, it wasn't the type of home someone for their first home, they, they would want for their first home. So that was my first listing. I got two listings with one seller on my first listing, which was amazing. My second listing was a fix and flip. Unfortunately, we did have a fire, but we're still moving on with the sale. Now we're waiting for the city to clean up the rubble and they're going to level out um, the property because th there was a basement in, on the property which caused a big hole in the property af after it was burnt down. So going to level it out, then we will be able to start accepting offers on my second listing. Now, what I got to talk to you guys about on this video is so important. What I learned in my with my very first listing you have to have a lot of patience because you're going to be dealing with agents. You're going to be taking a lot of responsibility and accountability from your seller. So you're going to be handling, handling a lot for your seller and you really, really just want to let the process handle itself. Of course, you are the orchestrator. So you make sure the, these things are getting done, but be patient. A Especially if you have a probate listing. I don't I don't even think about it. <laughs> when I handle my handle my escrows, I do the work. Earnest money deposit has to be in within three days after offer accepted. On day one, I'm telling my buyer, hey, cashier's check or wire transfer. You need to decide within these three days. If you need me to come pick up the cashier's check, I will do that. But we have these three days. I make sure my job is done, but in a very professional and patient way. Real estate takes time, 30 to 45 days, depending on the escrow, depending on the type of loan. So we already got to be patient, just understanding that. And that's what I want to primarily explain to you guys in this video today. Okay. So we really want to make sure that we are staying up on everything, but not rushing anything. Of course, if you got to get on your client, of course, I think there's a professional way of doing everything. But if you have to get on your client, hey, we are reaching this deadline. We are at a certain point to where we are reaching our last days of getting this earnest money deposit or whatever documentation that we need to get in for the seller. So make sure you guys are keeping up with your clients, but also not rushing anyone, not making it a, an uncomfortable process for your sellers or for your buyers. I love what I do, man. I have a strategic way of how I do things and I'm blessed to do what I love every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get a notification every time that I upload. And this is, this is your boy, Derek Swain. You guys have a great day and stay safe.